work very hard at assignment and there's precious little time to be gazing at one another. X-ray eyes or no X-ray eyes. That's not quite the way I heard it, Kate. <laughs> well, that's the way it is, Rick. Cool it, Kate. But you must admit there has been talk. You and the boss. <laughs> well, talk is cheap, Rick. Anyway, David, I just thought you'd like to know that the ratings for last week's show were satisfactory. <laughs> Satisfactory. I love the pause, Charles. Satisfactory coming from you is the equivalent of sensational. I don't want you getting complacent about this. Simon's got a long way to go yet. That's the trouble with you people. Every time I say something satisfactory, you all relax. Go out and get drunk. It's all very well laughing, but I know how your minds work. Incidentally, um, saw Kate MacArthur being interviewed on the Rick Noon show. Yeah, well, that was a little unfortunate. She wasn't prepared for all the personal innuendo. I don't think it did any damage, though. Who's talking about damage? I thought it was great. That girl's become an extremely valuable property. Yeah, some uh, good, healthy gossip doing the rounds about you and her can only help assignments ratings, huh? <laughs> Talk to you later. Seen Jim? Pardon? I'm looking for Jim Donegan. Oh, uh, he said he was going out to do some research. On what? <laughs> you think he confides in me? Yeah, well, when he comes back, would you tell him I want to see him? Harry, is there anything you want me to do for this week's show? Not at the moment. David wants you to have a relatively quiet week. Why? Well, you know how it is. Share the workload around. Something wrong? I'm just sick of it. Sick of what? The whole circus. Mm, well, tell me about it. He said looking at his watch. Yeah, well, I do have a few calls to make, but I'll tell you what. How about a drink at the end of the day? <laughs> no, sir. You and me seen drinking together? That's how the gossip starts. Just ask Mr. Rick Noon. You're not worried about that, are you? I'm just sick of all the flack I've been getting since. Who from? Oh, you know, sighs and whispers about me and David. They all think I've been using him. You think that too, don't you? Kate, don't take it too seriously. I'll tell Jim you're looking for him. Right. Oh, and uh, any time you want that drink, I'm available. What's all this about drinking, eh? New scandal brewing? Hmm? Hmm? Get lost. You've got a minute. David's office. Evan Llewellyn. The press have tagged him Llewellyn the Great. You must have heard of him, Jim. Yes, of course. David actually knows him. Oh, we were at university together. We used to fight over this gorgeous school called Allison. Evan won. Haven't seen him for years. Fantastic character. This is going to make a terrific story. The thing is, he's due back on his yacht tomorrow morning. Look, everywhere he goes, right, he... It, it says he, he takes this, uh, this dog called Gellert. He's back from an incredible voyage. He did Africa, crossed the Atlantic, sailed the entire coast of South America. God, the man's a nut. But he's colourful. Well, why do you call him a nut? He's, he's never grown up, Jim. Oh, come on, David. Look, the things this guy's done. I mean, it, this reads like something out of, um, out of Hemingway or Chichester. I think Jim feels another hero coming on. No, I'm so... Look, I just think he's a fantastic guy. What's the matter with heroes, anyway? The world could use some. Oh, now that's a good angle, don't you think? <laughs> In a world starved of heroes, the adventures of Evan Llewellyn remind us of an earlier, more colourful age when there were still jungles and oceans to be conquered. The man is an acro... Oh, cut! Damn it. I'm sorry, David. I was trying to say an anachronism. An anachronism. Yeah, well, too many words, mate. You wrote it. It's taking his time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go and see what's going on. Alison? David Lockhart. Must be years. How marvellous you remember me. I remember you. I wanted to marry you. Oh, gee, it's good to see you. 
<laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be on the yacht with Evan. Having the adventure of my life. Just the sun, the sky, the sea, the boat, the dog and us. That was the original idea, but it didn't work out. I came back about a year ago. Evan didn't mention that in the postcards. No, he wouldn't. David, Llewellyn isn't going to put in here. We've had a tip he's headed up the coast. Come on, we'll give you a lift. No. Come on. No. It's another stunt. He's grandstanding again. Oh, so nature of the beast. I was hoping he might have grown up. Alison, call me. Promise? All right. Give me a two shot. Hey, kid, go away. Go on, Gallop. Tighten the dog. Fantastic. Mr. Uh, Mr. Llewellyn, during this uh, long and remarkable journey, you must have encountered many hardships. Oh, yeah. What got you through? Well, my friend. When Ernest Hemingway survived a plane crash in the African jungle, he was asked the same question. You know what his answer was? A bunch of bananas and a bottle of gin. <laughs> in my case, it's a bottle of scotch and my inseparable friend, Gellert. What, uh, what part did Gellert like best? Dinner time. Chomps. <laughs> and being the star of my new documentary, coming soon to a cinema near you. You haven't changed, Evan. You're just better well, at it. We started in Mauritius, then we went on to the Ivory Coast, South America, just about everywhere. Gillett's an intriguing name. Is there a story behind it? Not a story, my friend, but one of the greatest legends of all time. Let me tell you about Mr. it. Mr. Llewellyn, is this uh, nearly finished? We're just warming up. My name is Michael Casper. I'm from Customs. I have to inform you we're here to impound the dog. Well, you can't. Well, I'm sorry, we have no choice in the matter. Come on, Larry. Now, just a, just a minute. Th this is ridiculous. What the hell's the problem? You've brought the animal into the country in complete contravention of the quarantine regulations. I haven't seen any d damn regulations. I've been away for years. That's no excuse. All our embassies and consulates have the required information. My instructions are to impound the dog. Well, I'm not going to let you. Have a baby. David! Hey, David! The dog will be fine. Welcome bloody home. <laughs> 